XCW or XC model? Which one is better and why? We're gonna find out today. So stick around. Hey guys, Rado here with Jordan Iron. Well, today we have something a little bit different. Finally, we got XCW on our channel. You know, up till today, I've been writing a lot of XCs, comparing them to four strokes, to older XCs. But today, finally, we got this XCW, which stands for a wide ratio. And I'm really curious to see how big is the difference, how big is the gap between XCW wide ratio, no linkage uh, KTM, and your XC that is a little more. Uh, a little more racy, it has the linkage, it has a different fork, and also it has a different transmission. So there is an opinion that that suits better, a little bit more aggressive riders, and uh, XCW is a little bit better for your average trail rider. Well, if I look at myself, I think I'm more of an average guy who likes to enjoy both single track and also flowy, faster trails. So I really want to see if this XCW is bike that would suit me better, and if I would feel better on this bike. So today we will compare that. Right after this intro, I'll jump into my uh, gear, we'll go ride those mountains and we'll come back here and let's see how I feel. And also you guys, please comment below and let me know what do you like more, XCW or XC, and uh, what are the reasons why you like one or the other. So this is a XCW 300 2017 year built by Jake Clark. This bike had 100 hours on when Jake got it, put brand new Vertex piston in it, then Tom Morgan did a little bit head mud, still running on the pump fuel, and then went through everything else. Of course, full FMF system. We got the decal works, did the decals, motor seat, uh, seats, uh, enduro engineering uh, hand guards and also Enduro Engineering uh, guard for your uh, slave cylinder at the clutch. Then we got a P3 covering the pipe uh, and the skid plate, TM design work, uh, chain slide and, uh, and chain guide, all that good stuff. Now task complete set uh, rear and front wheel with the new uh, brake rotors and also in the front there is an oversized rotor to get a little more braking power and Electron did a carburetor because the Mikuni is not the best, that's what I heard. I don't really have my uh, own experience with Mikunis, but usually there is a, either Kane or, uh, or Electron. Some people they go with Smart Carp. The Works Connection did a lot of these blink pieces that are looking nice and just help this bike to stand out a little bit. We are running IMS foot packs and also this oversized tank from IMS that gives you an extra range. You can go for longer rides and I think that's a must if you go for uh, these long trips that you just park somewhere and then go get lost in the forest, get a bigger tank, you're gonna need it. We have uh, super sprocks, rear and front sprocket and the chain. Trail tech, very important thing. We're running this fan, when you get too hot, the fan will kick in and help you to cool the bike down. So this is really a must if you are riding a lot of uh, tight technical trails. And just to wrap it up, we are running a Dunlop 8081 tires, front and rear.
guys, we are back home. I had a lot of fun on this bike. You saw the video. We went to uh, different terrains from uh, slow first gear, dry creek bed to like 70 miles an hour, you know, pin six gear and something a little flowy third, four gear. So I tried to mix it up uh, to have a sample of all kinds of different terrains that I would normally ride uh, on a dirt bike like this. So how much is this bike different to an XC? Not a huge difference. The feel I had on the bike uh, is very much comparable to what I felt on XC. Brakes, engine, uh, suspension and uh, ergonomics, uh, all the kind of stuff uh, very similar, almost identical. I felt great on XC and I felt great on this bike. You know, this is a Explorer fork and a PDS system, which uh, some people say that uh, it's, uh, they feel better on the linkage. Personally, I did not feel the difference. Not having AR, having Explorer, uh, also I didn't feel the difference. It's set up by Racetech, uh, they also did my suspension and they also did a suspension on the 19 exit that I rode uh, like two weeks ago and they all feel really good. Like for what, for what I need to do on a dirt bike, uh, it felt great. Something a little bit faster, it was eating these little bumps uh, on the trails. When I did the jump, it will soak it up nicely and it just felt really nice and plush, connected to the trail and I really loved it. Did not feel any different. So really linkage or PDS, it's not a deal breaker for me. Actually, I like PDS a little bit more just because you don't have that thing that will, you know, <laughs> rub uh, on the on the rags and uh, you don't you don't get damaged that the, the little thing you have the linkage you have sticking from the swing arm so having pds you have nice and flat swing arm so for trails uh, i think it's benefit to have pds and you know i'm i'm no racer i'm not uh, winning any races so really pds works better for me now where i really felt the difference uh, was the transmission of course w y ratio First gear, what we call a grinding gear, it's very slow. I could really feel that you shift to first gear. And it was good on the dry creek bed that I just stay in the first gear and was crawling through those rags and when I hit it, I could jump over the rack and it felt really good. I like it over there. But then I came to a point where uh, I wanted to shift to second and just kind of stay on, on the low RPM in a second. Like I went to one uh, hill climb that usually I do in the first gear on my bike. So I can go keep a little bit higher RPM and it goes a little bit faster and I climb like that because there are some rags and some roots uh, so it's a little bit difficult to climb it. But on this bike it felt like uh, you want to shift up from the first gear. So I shift to second gear but I didn't go on the gas like I didn't you know, continue with the RPM. I just kind of wanted to stay on the bottom of first gear, or second gear and it felt like uh, I'm one gear uh, too high. So that was this gap that was a little bit bothering me between first and second gear. First gear was uh, too slow and the second was too fast. So you, I was somewhere in between. Not very often. It happened to me maybe twice uh, on the ride today. I was riding for a couple of hours. It only happened to me like twice. But yeah, I felt it, that uh, it was bothering me a little bit. So the, the bottom of a transmission, first and second, uh, not really a hundred percent. Now I four, five and six, I love four, five and six. When I was on the open trails or on the dirt road, I could go five, six, uh, 60 miles an hour, 70 miles an hour, and I didn't feel like I'm really, you know, like a squeezing maximum from this, uh, from this engine. It felt great. So if I can uh, put four, five, six from XCW and one, two, three from XC together, I think that'd be the ideal transmission for me, for my riding, for what I do. Because, you know, honestly, when you are shifted uh, in fifth and sixth gear, you want to be fast. Yeah, you know, I, I never shift to five and six on the trail. I only shifted on the, on the dirt roads. I'm not very often on the dirt roads, but sometimes from one single track to the other, I need to connect uh, maybe four miles, five miles. And if I can hit a fifth, sixth gear and just go fast, it makes more sense. So I would love to put two transmissions together. Other than that, uh, I felt great. You know, bike is amazing. The engine 300 uh, crawling up, uh, it didn't die on me at all. It, it just, it's just a great engine. So, and you know, this being 17 already well, has that uh, uh, engine that has very reduced uh, vibration. So it felt really great. I just enjoy riding these KTM's. It's a, it's a really nice package. But if you ask me, or if you give me two bikes and I can only pick one and there is XCW and XC, I think uh, I would probably go for XC because uh, it just worked a little bit better, that transmission. Everything else was the same and I wouldn't mind. Actually, I would, I would like to have PDS. So if you ask me, I would like to have XC with PDS and uh, 
four, five, six from XCW. If I can somehow mix that together, that would be an ideal bike that would, I would enjoy that the, the most. You know, the headlight is a good thing, but for on XC you can just put aftermarket headlight connected, and uh, it's, it's not a difficult thing to do. I don't really need to have a tail light on the trails. I think headlight uh, put on XC, and I think you are good to go. All right, guys. Uh, let me know your opinion on how uh, you like your XC or XCW and why, and how does it compare when you you know try to ride back to back these two bikes? I'm sure you have a lot of experience, uh, so help us out. Uh, all the other new guys who want to buy a bike and they are making the decision go for XC or XCW, they will definitely benefit uh, from your knowledge and hopefully also from this video. All right, guys. Well, that's about it for today. Uh, I think uh, I covered everything I wanted to cover. I had a lot of fun. I think that's the most important. And uh, other than that, uh, don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.